From our city to yours, this is AMI Vancouver. I'm Grant Hardy for Accessible Media. Richard Kwan is a paraplegic musician who loves to play the guitar, adapted for him by the Tetra Society. The device is made of aluminum. It's, it's a, it's a two-level table that rests on my armrest. The bottom level has a, a bracket that supports the neck of the guitar. I play it laying on its back, the guitar. And then, and then the second level is to, to support my arms up and to keep them from falling off the, 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 the guitar. And then there's a bracket that, that I sit on that it connects to the table. And then the weight of me sitting on my, on my cushion keeps it in place. So the table's giving me a freedom to just, to just concentrate on music, not on my disability. And that's helped me keep a positive attitude on everything. Over the past 27 years, thousands of Canadians like Richard have enjoyed better lives thanks to the Tetra Society. The Tetra Society started with Sam Sullivan trying to solve a problem he was having as a paraplegic student at the University of BC. I had moved into a new social housing unit. I was by myself, very frustrated because I, I couldn't do so many things. And uh, just through frustration, I got together with some other disabled people, three other quads, and we uh, wrote a letter to the engineering magazine. And lo and behold, the angel appeared, and a guy named Paul Chermak came into my life and revolutionized it. Do you still have the first device they made for you? One of them, the most practical, probably, is the, the one that I used to open my condo door, a very, very heavy door. And uh, I just, just a piece of rope with a bent metal on it, and I, I hook it on the door, and I wheel backwards, and it opens, and I do a little twirl, and I get myself through. Old friends Harry Hardy and Jay Drew met through the Tetra Society. We sat down with them in Harry's workshop. Well, I retired in 1992, and I was working at my workbench one day, and I heard Sam Sullivan on the radio asking for volunteers. So I phoned the number he gave and joined Tetra. I was uh, reading the Professional Engineering magazine in 1991, and they had an article in there for uh, calling for volunteers to help uh, with disabled people for building projects for them. And I thought I would like to do that, so I contacted them, um, them in 91, and I've been working for them ever since. We're building a, a stool to raise a, a woman from table height to counter height, and a, a ramp to get people out on the small balconies on the apartments downtown. So Jay, you seem pretty excited about this equalizer chair. Can you describe how it works? Yes, uh, this chair raises uh, from ground level to normal wheelchair height and then six or eight inches above it. This part of the seat then just rises up and right about there is a normal wheelchair height and, and it goes up a little bit higher. It goes up about uh, that high and that then a person seated on that platform is equal in stature to a standing person. Pat Tweedy is Petra's national coordinator working out of Vancouver. In the past few years, we've been doing a lot of work with the universities. Calgary has been one. Um, U of T, we have a Tetra club. University of Saskatchewan, Saskatoon came on last year. So it's great. Richard and his music teacher, Elliot Lowe, enjoy a little guitar jam. Richard Kwan knows firsthand how the Tetra volunteers make lives better. Since I started playing guitar, I think I have, have more self-confidence. I, I go out more to see people and stuff. I have, I have something to do with music, and music makes me happy, so I've been more positive about stuff and not as afraid of, of going out and just seeing people and talking. The Tetra Society has chapters across Canada and the United States. The web address is tetrasociety.org. In Vancouver, I'm Grant Hardy for Accessible Media.